Hi, my love, beautiful souls of Mystic Rose 1111. I'm back with you, bringing dark into light. Channel message. Okay, so I was actually sorry, was going to channel this message just a minute ago, but then I had channeled another one because I almost got ran over by a car, but you guys, I'm okay. So um, the message I was actually going to channel was that somebody is stealing from their job. Okay, I heard a nursing home. Okay, I heard something about a nursing home. Somebody could be stealing medications. Uh, they're stealing the what is it um just heard, heard it uh products okay items little things big things i'm also hearing they could be stealing from like a group home something about a group home okay somebody's stealing stuff from like a group home uh their personal hygiene care stuff their clothes their perfumes their makeup their whatever it is i'm they also could be stealing a petty cash okay i'm hearing petty cash groceries okay bathroom stuff they're about to get caught, okay? Somebody's about to get caught at their job, okay? They're about to get caught, and they're going to get, a, like I said, a group home, nursing home. This could be a hospital. It, it can even be a normal job, okay? Any job as well, okay? A convenience store, a store. They're going to be end up getting caught, and they're going to be uh, criminally charged, okay? If it isn't a nursing home, or... If it's in a nursing home or like a group home, this could be actually uh, financial neglect and financial exploitation, I think. It's called financial exploitation or financial neglect, which could open an investigation uh, from like DHS, okay? From Department of Human Services and stuff, can end up opening a case up, okay? And this can affect somebody's background, affect somebody's life, some or affect somebody's life forever, where they will not be able to work in a group home or medical field or, in assistant living or nursing home or whatever, or any job, if there's a VA uh, case open, because this is this is this is stealing from a vulnerable adults. Okay, this is stealing from a vulnerable adults, and I'm hearing it's been going on for a while now. Okay, and it started off with little things. I'm hearing somebody started off like little tiny things, and now it's like gotten to be more things, and now it's starting to be noticeable. Okay, somebody's going to lose their job over this. It, like they're gonna be, I'm hearing suspended at first while this investigation investigation takes place. But then while the investigation takes place and they, you know, do their research, they look into everything, they're gonna connect dots, okay? They're gonna connect things and they're gonna see that things aren't lining up. Things are things are adding up or lining up. That guy went by earlier in my other reading. Um, they the little things are around here all over. And that they're gonna charge them, you know what I mean? They're gonna have to go to court, okay, for this and stuff. And this can actually cause somebody to have to do some jail time as well, okay? I'm hearing some jail time. When I was hearing about the nursing home, I was hearing about medications being taken or like assistant living. Like they're saying that they're giving these these meds to the clients, okay? So that this could be a group home too, whatever. They're giving these meds to the clients, but then they're actually not even giving them to the clients. They're actually like putting them in their pocket or putting them somewhere and taking them with them, okay? So, Instead of like just taking them from the bubble packs, because I used to give meds, you know, taking them from the bubble packs, they're like uh, punching them out, okay? They're punching them out, saying they're putting them in the med cup and giving them to the client, but the client's not taking them. And that could be where some things like not lining up is like, why is this client acting this way? Why is this client not calming down? Because most likely if they're taking these meds, it's most likely psychotropic meds or like narcotics or like, you know, ADHD medication, um, uh, Clonopins, benzos, stuff like that. Even uh, like lorazepam, Ativan, and stuff like that, that you could sell on the streets. This person may be selling them on the streets or they may end up taking them for themselves as well, okay? Um, I'm getting, I'm getting two people. I mean, one takes them for themselves and one selling them, okay? To get some kind of money. But somebody has some kind of, there could be somebody that has like some kind of addiction and they're trying to, they don't have the money to buy themselves or they can't get it. So they're taking it themselves, okay? And not realizing it or like people not realizing at first but now they're seeing these clients are not like at their normal self and it like i said it's could start out small like maybe taking one once a week and then like it started like taking more you know then maybe two a week and then three a week or they're taking you know what i mean like it just it started adding up someone could literally just take them too like you know just taking them and then like the counts off or whatever I am hearing something about like a nursing home or like a hospice thing, like with a like if somebody gets like morphine, somebody's supposed to be giving morphine. Uh, the morphine's not it's not adding up. Something's not adding up in these numbers, okay? And that's why 
there's gonna be some like uh, invest investigation in this. When I I, when I just heard with someone, when they get suspended, this person is gonna deny it and then they're gonna run. So someone may run during this investigation and not even like show up to court, show up, they may end up like leaving and like going to MIA and then they may end up having a warrant for the rest. They could even actually leave state too uh, because of this situation. They screwed up, okay? This is something that screwed up. They, they took advantage of something. And again, like I said, I was here in like the medical field, like the group home, the assistant living, stuff like this, uh, nursing home and stuff. But again, this could be anywhere. You know what I mean? This this could be a, far, a pharmacy as well, okay? Or it could be a convenience store where they're stealing, you know, cigarettes or a liquor store stealing alcohol. It's just, they're stealing things and it was, it, things were adding up at first, but now things are not because now it's went into like extreme. Wow, well, so wind just blew. I'm hearing at least one person's at least stole at least fifty thousand dollars for some from somebody. So this could be also a nanny, like a nanny or a child care provider, like that goes into someone's home and like watches their children and is taking stuff from the children of the home. I did put a kleptomaniac reading out not too long ago, and like they just take things. Uh, they could have been they could have been start taking family jewelry or like money. I'm hearing taking money out of a piggy bank, okay, or like a money jar, and not people didn't realize it at first. Okay, something about background checks. And these people that they got good background checks, okay, so what I'm hearing is these whoever these people were hired, there could have been a background check before, and they had a perfect record. Like, never been caught stealing, never been caught with the law, never been in trouble. Like, they passed a background check to like the state, and they just started stealing. They started taking, thinking it was easy. They kind of also hearing if it's like a work, a company, they could be using their company card, their company like debit card or like credit card on personal things for them. Okay. And saying it, they're charging it off as like the, the business. Okay. But it's actually be, they're using it for the personal agenda. Like it has nothing even to do with the business or the, the company. And that's going to be seen too. Cause we're going to go back and like, look at all the credit card records and stuff like that and like pull things up and see, you know, well, where's this at? We don't see this in the office. We don't see this here. Well, where's that? You it says that you just bought this iPad, but where's the damn iPad? Where is it at? It's not here. This laptop's not here, you know? Like that's what it's saying. Like that's major, more bigger things, but there could be smaller things too, you know? Or like a nanny taking somebody shopping or like somebody could be like somebody's personal, um, personal assistant and going out buying stuff and then adding stuff there and thinking somebody thought somebody was gullible not realizing that somebody may have money a lot of money and it's like they had a personal assistant this person may have a personal assistant and like this personal assistant thought like this person had a lot of money and the stuff that they're buying like they won't realize like well okay well I'm, I'm going to buy this for them they, they, they don't want to go shopping so this could be like something about wealthy they somebody wealthy and stuff well they want this 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 i'm just gonna add this and this they're not gonna notice it because they have so much stuff and they don't even look at their bills or their credit cards or anything like that the receipts and i'm just gonna get this and it's gonna be charging there and like somebody's on to them okay like somebody's literally on to them with doing this there could be a law settlement too like a loss lawsuit or like lawsuit Doing this other person, but I, I compare financial exploitation and financial neglect, and a vulnerable adult. Okay, where Department of Human Services is involved in like doing an illegal investigation and stuff. It's too much stuff coming up missing now. Too much. They got greedy. I just heard they got greedy. They got greedy. So I hope this helps somebody. It's not very long, but I heard that. Oh, so when I said they got people charged, this person end up could be doing, I'm hearing it could be like one to three years in jail or prison 
for this, but then the one to three to years in jail, whatever the statue is for your state or for your country, whatever it's happening. Because I'm hearing it's not happening here just in the United States. I'm hearing something happening overseas as well. Okay, this could be happening overseas. Um, but they're not just going to have to sit jail time. They're going to have to pay it back and have they have a fine. And then again, like I said, it's going to be on their background, okay? Where they will not be able to get another job in this career, okay? And it'll be really hard to get a, a job anywhere because it's going to show that they, uh, if it's one of the vulnerable, adult, vulnerable adults, that they stole from a vulnerable adult. And I think that's more of a serious crime when you take it because you're taking advantage of a vulnerable adult. You're taking advantage of a vulnerable adult. You're stealing from them. And so it's more of a serious crime and you, it's really hard for you to get a job, especially if you're a nurse or a personal assistant or a CNA or whatever like that. It's really hard once you get terminated or suspended for that and you're found guilty, it shows in the record. A lot of people don't wanna hire people because of it. They'll have to go in a whole totally different career. They won't even be like, spirits tell me they won't even be able to go work at like McDonald's or like a grocery store, convenience store because they stole. Because when you work at a cash, as a cashier with money, you're not going to be able to get a job. Okay, so they're going to have to look for something that doesn't deal with any kind of money or dealing with any kind of clients. So it'll be hard for them to get a job. They're probably going to have to go milk some cows. <sighs> Milking cows. Lawnmowers, a job. Like those kind of little things, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> have to get cash jobs, like... It's going to be really extremely hard for this, this, this individual, these people to get a job because most places you deal with money, most places you deal with money or you deal with, you know, items. So yeah, I love you guys. I hope this helps. Yeah. Love you guys. Love, peace, light, healing, namaste.